There's a community of artists right here in Seminole Heights who are getting lost in their own creativity every day, so they've appropriately named themselves Labyrinth Studios. ABC Action News reporter Robert Boyd followed their path through this imaginative place. Here's his story. From screen printing to the letterpress I'm gonna roll the paper to copper etchings. Labyrinth Studios isn't so much a maze as it is amazing. I just wanted there to be like a comfortable, like safe space hub for people to be creative together. Allie Norman has been etching Labyrinth into the Seminole Heights culture since October 2020. There's so many creatives in Seminole Heights and um, a lot of them were kind of lone wolves, right? Like, um, and I was one of them. She says it can be difficult for artists to maximize their talents without the proper equipment. A lot of this is stuff that I acquired like over like a decade um, and I was just using it by myself. You know, like why not share it with people and also share those skills and continue those traditions. Looking around in this shop, it looks like some of this equipment is 100 years old. It is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> like a 1923 Chandler and Price letterpress. It's super exciting um, to be trained on one of these, uh, especially one um, this old in this high functioning condition. And what's really cool about Labyrinth Studios is whatever you make here in the workshop, you can sell right in the same space in the gift shop. Everything in here is handmade. Um, tons of stuff from local artists, tons of stuff made here in the shop. If you're looking for a great way to meet your Seminole Heights neighbors, you'll find them in the labyrinth. Everyone is welcome. Whoever you just bought from lives just down the street. Here's their Instagram. They have a face. They live in your neighborhood. Maybe you've seen them at the dog park or something, you know. In Seminole Heights, Robert Boyd, ABC Action News.